Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the basics of tool engineering. So this is our second session over the basics of tool engineering. So myself, Jay Terle, lecturer in mechanical department, KQ of Polytechnic Nasi. So in previous session, we have seen the introductory part of tool engineering. In that, we have seen again the types of metal cutting processes and exact metal cutting principle. So in this session, we are going to discuss about the classifications of cutting tool. So here, there are two types of uh, cutting tools. First one is single point cutting tool and second one is multi point cutting tool. So first of all, we are discuss about the single point cutting tool. So here, what is mean by single point cutting tool? So this word indicates single point cutting means here we have only one effective cutting edge which will remove the excess material from the workpiece. So single point cutting tool consists only one cutting edge and with the help of that cutting edge we can remove the excess material from the workpiece. So here we have example turning tools, shaping tools, slotting tools and boring tools. These are the examples of single point cutting tool. So here we have one diagram uh, which represent uh, the single point cutting tool which is used for the turning operation. So we have here only one cutting edge present for the uh, remove the excess material from the workpiece. So we have second one is multi point cutting tool. So here multi means more than one. So here we have more than one effective cutting edge and with the help of that more than one uh, more than one effective cutting edge we can remove the excess material from the workpiece. So here we have one example uh, milling cutters, broaching cutters, hops, gear shaping cutters. These are the examples of multi point cutting tool. So in these cutting tools uh, there are more than one uh, effective cutting edge present and with the help of that more than one effective cutting edge we can remove the excess material. So here uh, as compared to the single point cutting tool in multi point cutting tool we have more than one effective cutting edge and here the material remover capacity of that tool will increase and also speed is increased. So this diagram represents the multi point cutting tool so which is used for milling and drilling operations. So here we have here so many uh, cutting edges present over here. So this is what about the classifications of cutting tool. Then we are going to discuss about the type of metal cutting processes. So here we have two types of uh, metal cutting processes. First one is orthogonal cutting and second one is oblique cutting. So here orthogonal cutting is also called as two dimensional cutting and oblique cutting is called as three dimensional cutting. So here we have diagram of orthogonal as well as in oblique cutting. So left hand side diagram represents the orthogonal cutting and right hand side diagram represents the oblique cutting. So ortho means normal. So here the tool edge is normal to the feed rate of workpiece. So this is what orthogonal and in oblique uh, this cutting edge is not perpendicular to the feed rate. So this is called as oblique cutting. So this is what about the type of metal cutting processes. So we will discuss here first the orthogonal cutting. So here what is mean by ortho? Ortho means perpendicular or we can say that normal. So here the cutting edge of tool remains the normal to the direction of tool feed or work feed. So here we have tool. This is our workpiece and this is chip after uh, cutting force applied over the workpiece we will get here chips. So here the cutting edge of the tool remains normal to the feed rate of or work feed or tool feed. So this is what orthogonal cutting. So here we get the 90 degree angle in between the cutting edge of the tool and the feed of that workpiece or tool. So here again the direction of chip flow velocity is also normal to the cutting edge of the tool. So after cutting force applied over the um, workpiece the chip flow or a chip has a some velocity and that chip flow velocity is also normal to the cutting edge or that chip velocity is also perpendicular to the cutting edge of the tool. Here only two component of forces are acting. So first one is cutting force and second one is thrust force. So that's why this type of uh, cutting is called as two dimensional cutting. So this is what about the orthogonal cutting. So here we have 3D view of orthogonal cutting and this is 2D view. So here we can see that the tool cutting edge is perpendicular to the feed or work feed that is called as orthogonal cutting. So next one is oblique cutting. So oblique cutting here 
we can say that the tool remains inclined to the tool feed or work feed tool edge remains inclined to the direction of tool feed or work feed so here we can say that this uh, this tool edge remains inclined to the feed rate or work feed so here again we can say that the direction of chip flow velocity again it is an angle to the normal of cutting edge of the tool so here this chip flow velocity it is an angle with the normal to the cutting edge so this is normal to the cutting edge and this is what your chip flow angle so this angle the angle is known as chip flow angle so here in this type of cutting three forces are acting first one is cutting force second one is radial force and third one is thrust force or also called as feed force so here third come third force is introduced that is radial force that's why this type of cutting is called as three dimensional cutting so here the cutting edge being oblique that is inclined oblique means inclined that's why the shear force acts over the larger area and thus the tool life is increased so because of this oblique nature the shear force acts over the larger area or tool edge gets in contact with the larger area and because of that we can say that the tool life is increased so this is what about oblique cutting here we have 3d diagram and this is 2d diagram so here three forces acting over the tool or work piece with the help of tool so here we have this is tool which is inclined to the feed rate or work feed and this is chip formation so this is what about oblique cutting then we will see the basic difference between orthogonal and oblique cutting so here first column represent the ortho orthogonal cutting and second column represent the oblique cutting so again we can say that first point is that the cutting edge remains normal to the direction of feed rate in oblique cutting we can say that the cutting edge or uh, tool remains inclined to the direction of feed rate so second point is that the direction of chip flow velocity again normal to the cutting edge of the tool and in oblique cutting we can say that the chip flow velocity it is an angle with the normal of the cutting edge of the tool so in orthogonal cutting third point is that the cutting edge clears the width of work piece so in orthogonal cutting we can see the clear cut width of work piece but in oblique cutting uh, the cutting edge may or may not clears the width of work piece so this is our third point in orthogonal cutting fourth point is that here only two component of forces acting over the tool that is cutting and thrust force in oblique cutting there are three forces acting that is first one is cutting force second one is radial force and third one is thrust force and fifth point in orthogonal cutting so because of here two forces acting that's why it is called as two dimensional cutting and in oblique cutting there are three forces acting so it is called as three dimensional cutting so this is what about the type of cutting difference between the orthogonal and oblique cutting. thank you